right here in this seagrass, if you scooped a net through here, you would get so much fish, but we don't have a net with us, which is a shame. There'd be so much fish. So we're going a little deeper on the limestone. We're gonna come over here to this other rock area and see what we can find. So this is kind of like the border and the edge. So there might be bigger fish in some of these deeper waters. And you can see them swimming through there. But the waves keep them protected. So we're gonna go into some of the shallow areas that are more protected from the main water and see what we can find. Sea urchins are everywhere. So you gotta definitely watch out for the urchins. And we got an eel. We got an eel. Oh my God, check out the eel. We got an eel in shallow water. So you can see him right here. And he's in a protected position, so we're gonna give him some space. But that is an eel. So you can see him waving in the water, pretending like it's seaweed. And that's a moray eel right here. That is so cool. Look how beautiful that eel is. He's just waving in the water. Oh, he is the same, he camouflages himself. So he stays very still, and there he is swimming away. Look at that beautiful eel. I mean, look how beautiful that eel is. Like, it's so graceful. He's just gonna swim his way through. We're gonna give him some space. And so you can see that eel just swimming through the water right there. And we've seen abundant of eels here. Like, so, so far, and he's looking for a space to hide. So you can see, he's finding a space to hide. He got a little spooked by us, but we got an eel. That was so epic. So we're gonna keep on going through the grasses. We got our first eel, high five. Can we get a lobster? There's another cool fish, a little bigger fish. We're gonna work our way across. And then I'll show you a spot where there's so many eels, like beyond ridiculous amount of eels. There's fish, coral, urchin, everywhere through these waters. You gotta be super careful. We're gonna go on top of this rock. We're gonna inspect around. An abundance of urchins everywhere. It's just insane. All right, we're gonna go across these rocks and you can see all these little fish. Zooming around. They're so quick. And you can see all the plant life. The new coral, look at how quickly the fish jump from spot to spot. So, we're gonna work our way over, go from rock to rock. So here's some ginormous hermit crabs right here. So these are all hermit crabs. Actually, that is a sea snail. And so you can see the snail, and there's like a little baby snail underneath it. So we're gonna put the snail back right here, where it belongs. That was cool. Here's a massive shell. That is a ginormous sea snail shell. There's no hermit in there. And you can see there's wildlife on top of it. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna make sure there's nothing in there. I don't think so. And if there's a hermit crab in there, we'll take it away. We'll put it back if there's a hermit crab in there. We have some live isopods, and isopods are actually related to the potato bug. So if you have a roller puller potato bug, here they are. Here's an isopod right here. So it's it's stuck to the rock, but that is a live isopod right there. There's another one. I've never seen isopods in the wild. There's deep isopods. Here's some fresh coral growing right here. So that's fresh coral. And you can see there is an urchin growing behind it. That was pretty cool. We're gonna keep on looking. We found something epic. We found an octopus. I can't believe it. I never thought I would see an octopus in the wild, but there you go. There's an octopus right there. Look beautiful and colorful this octopus is. This is chilling in the water right here. There's a little crab that's hiding, but there is an octopus right there. <laughs> that is so cool. It is like teal blue. It's all curled up. And there goes the octopus is looking 
right at the camera. I can't believe we found an octopus. So we got an eel and we got an octopus. So if you go to Playa Carmen and you go around the limestone and the coral reefs, there is wildlife abundant everywhere. And I can't believe we actually found an octopus just for y'all. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, BLB Adventures family. So on BLB Adventures, that's our monster trucks. BLB Gamer, that's us gaming. And if you want more of us actually in person talking, then check out BLB Adventures family. There is an octopus. I'm gonna try to catch it and put it in my hand. That is so cool. I don't know where the people are, but we got an octopus. So cool that we found an octopus. So here he is, we touched him. Ah, did you see that? Did you see that? There goes his little suction cups. We're gonna, we're gonna respect nature. And there's also a little shrimp right there. You see that little shrimp? But there is an octopus right here hiding. You can see his little suction cups right here. So you can see all the suction cups and look how suctiony they are. They're very sticky. So you can see all the different suction cups and you can see how they suction to me. Here's them breathing. And if you don't notice about octopuses, they can actually breathe on land too. So octopuses can breathe on land as well in the water. They prefer to be in water as much as possible. But the reason why this is such shallow water is they could walk across from tide pool to tide pool looking for prey. So that is so awesome that we found an octopus. Octopus in our hand if we can. Let's see if we can get the octopus in our hand. Here, let's get him to move a little bit. So you can see he's suctioning on me. Very cool. It's very chill. So you can see his little coiled up tentacle right there. There's another tentacle. So you can see all the suction cups. So he's trying to burrow himself or herself as close to the edge as possible. And they try to do bright colors. So octopuses change color. They try to do bright colors to mimic something that's poisonous, saying danger, don't eat me, I'm poisonous. And actually this one is not poisonous at all, but we want to make sure we're respecting nature. But that is so cool that we found an octopus. And then we got this epic shell right here. We'll be back and we'll show you more.